Do you know the story of Eliyahu Hanavi in the Carmel Mountain? That he came and said to the Jewish nation, Ad matay atem poschim al shnei asifim. Until when you are going to be one leg with Hashem and one leg with the fake gods, the statues, the idols, the fake rabbis, the fake prophets, Nevi Abal, 450 fake ones. If God is the God, follow him. If the idols is God, follow them. Enough being modern orthodox. Make up your mind. You're either fully orthodox or you're fully wicked. Enough being 50% righteous, 50% wicked. Enough with this. Why? Tell me why. When a person is fully righteous, good. One day Mashiach come, he will remain, he will enjoy. If he dies, he goes to heaven, no problem. If he's fully wicked, you know what to do with him. If it's 50 50, it's a big problem. He keeps Shabbos, he eats kosher, he makes bracha when he eats, he keeps the holidays, he fasts on Yom Kippur, he doesn't eat chametz in Pesach, he goes to movies to watch naked girls. He watches Hollywood movies, or in his internet, or in his phone. That's what his everyday life is, religious and secular at the same time. He comes to Slichot, and right after that, he goes to watch a game, I don't know, of the goyim, screaming, cursing, smoking grass in the stadium. He's not makpid. Kashrut, barely, everything half and half. His wife wearing jeans, pants, no cover the head. You have thousands of religious people like this. Here in New York alone, tens of thousands. You don't know, can I eat in the house? Can I not in the house? Are the makpid? The meat is even kosher. Who are they getting the meat from? They don't care so much. There is a very big problem. Why? Someone like that, Hashem doesn't know what to do with them. No, no. Benji, fix the problem. Thank you. No, Avram, it's good. We're good. So you don't know, you don't know what to do with someone like that. Why you don't know? Should you send him to heaven or should you send him to hell? If you look at the Shabbat he keeps, he deserves heaven. Yom Kippur, heaven. Filin he puts every day, heaven. Give tzedakah, heaven. Going to the theater, hell. Not keeping 100% tarat mishpacha, hell. Putting his children in a modern school, boys and girls, big hell. It's a dilemma. What do you do? You have a son learning, praying, on the other side, robber, selling drugs, smoking drugs. What should you do with him? Should you leave him the business to take over or should throw him out of here? You don't want to see him. What should you do? Big dilemma. You have things that justify this and things that justify the opposite. So Hashem screaming to the people through his Eliyahu Navi, Elijah the prophet, make up your mind. You with me or you against me? I don't want half enough. Make up your mind. And that's what will happen in the end of days. In Acharit Ayamim, right now. In our days. Hashem will force the half enough people to be Push either to the best side or to the worst side. There won't be any more 50-50. That's called Sinun, Beru. And you saw, it started with COVID. Through COVID, you saw a lot of people how they became. And many people became very religious. And now again, after October 7, many people took it serious. That's it, enough with the You have boys. They decide to throw their smartphone, they're going to yeshiva, all of a sudden they don't talk to girls, give their phone away or smash it, or at least put a kosher filter on it. They're learning now, they don't care. Their father give them allowance, they don't even use it anymore. Why? Their mind is in Torah, Baruch Hashem. Became something new. All of a sudden they have tzitzit. Before you had to beg them to put tzitzit. Beg them to take that stupid blurry they had. A war every day, please, it's Chilul Hashem. Now all of a sudden doesn't care about the air. In three months, there's a new person, an angel. 
Hashem gave him an opportunity and he took it. And what about his brother? The exact opposite. The little that he used to do, Gamze went down the drain. Why is it? That's the last chance. You getting on the train or you staying off the train? And please don't miss the train. 